The life and sad ending of Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart, born Mary Houchins, was born July 4th, 1926 in Miami, Florida, to Guy M. and Mary Houchins. She grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where she graduated from Tulsa Central High School and attended the University of Tulsa before embarking on her professional career. She left home at age 17 for New York City, where her career started and where she returned after finding Hollywood too stressful. Her eventual stage name was her mother's maiden name. After appearing in various bit parts in several movies throughout the 1940s, Warner Brothers offered her a three-year contract in 1948. She appeared with such stars as Errol Flynn in Adventures of Don Juan, Clark Gable in The Hucksters, Esther Williams in This Time for Keeps, and Henry Fonda and Lucille Ball in The Big Street. After her film career ended, CBS offered Stewart a role in a new undertaking that would become known as the soap opera. Their first project, The First Hundred Years, was short-lived. It had been canceled after just one year on the air. The executives at CBS were wary of launching a second show, but they saw a future in soaps in the person of Mary Stewart after her screen test. It was then that they commissioned a second series. Stewart was cast as a housewife, Joanne Gardner. The new serial was called Search for Tomorrow, and it turned out to be very successful. Stewart would become synonymous with her character. Search for Tomorrow ran for 35 years until 1986, when it was finally canceled. During that time, she was widowed three times and went through many trials and tribulations. She was the only soap star to receive a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for performance in a series, but lost to Shirley Booth. During her stint as Joanne, she and co-star Larry Haynes were given a special Emmy recognition for their work. Executive producer Paul Rauch offered her the role of the crooked judge Weber on ABC's One Life to Live, which she played in 1988, then settled into retirement, having worked nearly 40 years. She wrote a short story that was published in a magazine, which was eventually made into a CBS movie of the week. In 1996, she came out of retirement and accepted the role of Meta Bauer, Ed's aunt who became a confidant of his daughter, Michelle, on Guiding Light, a part which had been played earlier by Ellen Deming. Stewart would play the role until her death, Stewart collaborated with Percy Faith on an album in 1956 and with Michael Legrand in 1973. She played guitar and she penned and sang songs on Search for Tomorrow, which fit into the script as her character was an amateur singer-songwriter, and she would sing songs to convey what she was feeling, usually when she was alone. Stewart also sang and played guitar on Christmas episodes, including, but not limited to, one notable Christmas in which Stewart sang Bring a Torch, Jeanette, Isabella, with actresses Anne Williams and Melissa Murphy, who played her sister and daughter at that time. Stewart performed at her first public concert on January 8, 1974, at Catawba College in Salisbury, North Carolina. In her personal life, Stewart married Richard Krolick in August 1951. She gave birth to a daughter, Cynthia, in 1955, and a son, Jeffrey, in 1956. She and Krolick divorced in 1966. Mary Stewart remained single for two decades after her divorce. In 1986, she married architect Wolfgang Neumann and remained married until her death. Sadly, she died at her home in 2002 following a stroke. Stewart was also suffering from gastric cancer and bone cancer. She was 75 years old. She had previously undergone an endoscopy for an operation to remove a tumor in her stomach in 1999. Stewart had battled breast cancer earlier in her life. An apron Stewart wore while playing Joe on Search for Tomorrow currently hangs in the National Museum of American History at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. She is interred at the Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York.